good morning this is dr rajesh shekhar lecturer in botany shrimati gangineni kalyani government degree college vinikonda guntu district uh, in this video lecture i am going to give you know, the details of economic importance of bacteria when we think of bacteria immediately what we get into our mind is diseases we all know that we get diseases from microorganisms especially from bacteria viruses and fungi that is one dimension of uh, 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 their response towards the human beings but there are so many uses of them so all these things will be uh, covered in this video lecture economic importance uh, means we can cover we should cover all the details of the bacteria uh, the response of bacteria towards the human beings but in this video just i am focusing on the uh, advantages of bacteria uh, i mean doing towards the human beings and other organisms so when we come to the major applications of bacteria generally bacteria i mean uh, show the following advantages uh, to the mankind to the globe like uh, natural scavenger uh, nature cleaning of sewage water soil fertility insecticidal properties decomposition of pesticides and insecticides uh, scp genetic engineering and also bacteria are very helpful uh, in research so natural scavengers we all know that that is the only planet for all the living uh, beings to reside um, but for uh, we all know that uh, people uh, i mean um, or organisms born every day similarly certain organisms die if you imagine uh, the all the dead organisms remain on the earth how would be our fate how would we lead our life mm, that is the question uh, it's not like that you know uh living uh, organisms all exist on earth all the dead organisms are decomposed how is it possible it is possible by means of bacteria and fungi the major function of bacteria um is uh, cleaning the mother earth by secreting some enzymes they decompose the dead organic material into simple inorganic substances so that uh, all these inorganic substances uh, get their entry into the earth mm, that is how the earth becomes more and more fertile meanwhile the dead body is completely taken away or removed off from the earth thus all the time earth seems or soil seems very clean and neat mm, this is because of bacteria that is why bacteria are commonly known as natural scavengers hence they are cleaning the mother earth uh, and the second uh, important application of bacteria is the cleaning of sewage water we all know that the household wastes uh, or dumped in the nearby drainage uh, canals or pits where 1 to 2% of organic material is present and remaining 98% uh, um, i mean is uh, water bacteria depend on these organic matter uh, for their uh, needs yeah. while decomposing this organic uh, matter uh, i mean they also clean up the sewage water so that the water becomes very purified uh, very uh, um, purified similarly uh, we get uh, i mean uh, a sort of false smell from the sewage water it is because of uh, bacteria uh, while decomposing the sewage water we get this false smell uh, sewage water is generally uh, cleaned by uh, uh, certain aerobic and anaerobic bacteria like uh, ectobacter uh, bervibacterium flavobacterium cytophages hypomicrobium pseudomonas uh, um, spirotilus etc uh that's the the water we have on the earth is just 1% uh some of it is uh, getting wasted in the form of sewage water so it is recycled by the bacteria it may be uh, also called uh, mineralization process or stabilization process and then the soil fertility we all know that the soil is a rich medium for all the microorganisms to grow well and it is with a certain organic nutrients uh, organic material uh, soil air uh, soil water everything is very good there so all of the germs uh, make the soil um, uh, a home for them but unfortunately what is happening because of various uh, i mean uh, um, what we say um, over exploitation of the uh, soil soil resources and improper uh, practices of agriculture and natural calamities all these are i mean uh, i mean big threats for the uh, soil because because of them soil loses its fertility slowly and steadily um, as we largely depend upon agriculture the agriculture is largely really upon the soil fertility what we we can improve the soil fertility it is again 
by means of the bacteria. We all know that bacteria involved in biogeochemical cycling. What are biogeochemical cycles? Uh, biogeochemical cycles are nothing but the chemicals or um, elements or uh, inorganic nutrients, whatever be the name, they get recycled among the soil, atmosphere and the organisms. Uh, like that, uh, everywhere, the regular compositions of uh, elements or uh, mineral elements, uh, I mean, uh, 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 getting maintained. It is because of bacteria only. So, these bacteria decompose uh, dead bodies, as I told in the uh, I mean, uh, first point. Um, so, that uh, the inorganic uh, material again, uh, I mean, uh, uh, are dumped into the soil, so that the soil gets its fertility again. Generally, any substance which improves the soil fertility is called uh, fertilizer. As we all know, there are three types of fertilizers. What are they? Chemical fertilizers, natural fertilizers, and uh, biological fertilizers. Uh, chemical fertilizers and natural fertilizers have their own um, disadvantages, as we all know. Chemical fertilizers are very harmful to the nature, and uh, they cause all type of pollution and also health hazards for the farmer. That is why um, people lost interest in using chemical fertilizers. Then they focused on the natural fertilizers. Natural fertilizers are good fertilizers, very cheaper and very um, uh, eco-friendly, uh, not hazardous to the farmer. But uh, the major drawback of uh, natural fertilizer is uh, preparation. Uh, it uh, uh, takes a long time, a long duration. That's why we can't wait such a long uh, while. That is why there is an other, another alternative that is natural fertilizers. Natural fertilizers means there are certain organisms which can improve the soil fertility, like bacteria. There are certain bacteria like uh, <coughs> Azotobacter, Azospirillum, uh, some cyanobacteria, all that. Nowadays, um, traders are selling uh, this Azotobacter bacteria in the form of biofertilizer under the trade name Azotobacter. Similarly, uh, Nitrogrin. These are some of the fertilizers which are getting sold at markets, which are all made up of different type of bacteria. These bacteria, you know what they do? Uh, generally, uh, while decomposing the dead organic matter, they release uh, ammonia from their uh, protein components. This ammonia comes into the air. Some of the ammonia again reacts with the uh, uh, H2O and CO2 and uh, transforms into carbonates. These carbonates are again placed by the other uh, plants. Uh, generally, bacillus forms. All bacillus forms are known as uh, ammonifying bacteria. They involve in this process. Similarly, there are certain bacteria like nitrogenous and nitrogenobacter together called uh, nitrifying bacteria. They also convert the ammonia into nitrites and further nitrates. Thus, they improve the soil fertility. Then, the secret cell properties. We all know that uh, there are insects uh, which are big threat for the uh, agriculture and uh, crops. To uh, control them, to put on, on the bay, what we should uh, do? Generally, we have to use certain insect uh, sites. They are of mainly chemical based. They are very again harmful to the nature. So there are another type of insecticides like natural natural insecticides and uh, biological insecticides. Uh, God created a predator and prey relation. Um, I mean, in our lives, you, you know, you know, you know, certain organisms always depend on other organisms uh, directly uh, for food. Uh, similarly, uh, certain insects are killed by or uh, taken as food by certain bacteria, uh, especially bacillus forms uh, uh, like. Uh, Mm, uh, bacillus uh, thuringiensis especially uh, we all know that uh, this bacillus thuringiensis species uh, can kill nearly 15 type of uh, 50 different insects uh, which are serious threat for the uh, agriculture uh, by get, by secreting certain toxins no uh, they kill these insects and there is another ba bacillus species that is bacillus spiracus uh, which can kill uh, larvas of mosquitoes so that they can control the dengue and malaria and other related diseases of the mosquitoes uh, caused to the human beings. Uh, thus, these uh, bioinsecticide uh, sites are very very useful to the man and also to the nature. That is why these days uh, agri uh, agriculturists got re renewed interest in the biological type of insecticides. And another one is the decomposition of pesticides and insecticides. Previously, before bioinsecticides uh, and natural insecticides, you know, we used to rely upon the chemical-based pesticides and insecticides. We, we all know that they are very, very harmful to the environment as well as to the um, uh, agriculture and, and other related people. Uh, and moreover, by uh, 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 thorough using of these chemical-based pesticides and insecticides, uh, um, uh, make the soil lose its uh, uh, fertility. 
so that the soil becomes barren and sterile. It is not at all useful for any uh, for raising any crop in that uh, region. But there are certain bacteria which actually uh, decompose these pesticides, insecticides, which is not possible by any natural means except uh, this way. Uh, by decomposing these chemical based pesticides and insecticides, you no, know, they are again giving uh, soil uh, the fertility. Uh, as we all know that 2,4-D is one of the major weedicide we use uh, to control the weeds in a crop. Um, of course, it is uh, of great use, but uh, by long usage, long run usage of this uh, 2,4-D can make the soil barren and useless. To control uh, this 2,4-D effect on the soil, there is a bacteria by name Acromobacter and Corinibacterium that decompose this 2,4-D and gives again the soil um, fertility. Similarly, DDT, Dichlorodiphenyl Trichloroethane, a well known insecticide which has been getting used um, for uh, many years to till date in many countries to control the insect, uh, insect population. Uh, on the one hand, it is of uh, great use, on the other hand, no, it is very harmful to the nature. To combat against these uh, the dreadful uh, uh, I mean, uh, effects of DDT, the, uh, the Corinne bacterium and Clostridium species are widely used, which can decompose this DDT and check. Uh, the, uh, the ill effects of the DDT. Mm, this is how uh, we can use the bacteria as bioinsecticides as well as uh, for decomposing the chemical based pesticides and in in insecticides in order to make soil fertile. And another major use of uh, bacteria is uh, single cell proteins. As you all know that uh, generally we rely upon the plant products uh, for meeting our uh, food needs. But unfortunately, because of uh, uh, environmental, mm, I mean various environmental issues, these days uh, agriculture is not at all useful. Uh, it is not at all, uh, I mean, um, on par uh, with the needs of uh, uh, food needs of the world. Then scientists, uh, I mean, uh, searched for alternative food sources. Uh, uh, they found out the bacteria in some other, uh, other microorganisms are good food sources for human beings and, and other organisms because they are rich of uh, protein molecules, proteins, uh, very good dietary, pro dietary uh, substances for all organisms. Uh, we can't find that, uh, that amount of uh, um, proteins in any other regular food items uh, which are obtained from the plants. Uh, even in the Second World War, Germany uh, soldiers uh, used these uh, uh, microorganisms as food uh, to gain energy to fight against the uh, enemies. Uh, the, uh, there are certain bacteria uh, which are single cell actually, we all know that uh, bacteria are single cell. Uh, they are dried and the high nucleus content is um, brought down so that they can be transformed into a good uh, uh, dietary substances. Um, such bacteria are called single cell proteins. And then genetic engineering. It is uh, a fourth revolution uh, in the development of uh, uh, I mean human race. Uh, really. Actually, uh, we have a lot of ideas in our mind to do this and to do that, but um, unfortunately, they, rem they remained as dreams once, but now it is not like that. We, we are achieving a lot of uh, um, ideas, our, 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 uh, 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 our interests, uh, by using this uh, uh, genetic engineering technology, also known as recombinant DNA technology. Here, what we do is, generally we take a desired chain, we want to uh, get it more and more, and we, we have to get it, uh, its product more and more in uh, uh, amounts. So how is it possible? It is possible by means of certain bacteria. In bacteria, as we all know, there is a special chromosome called plasmid, um, which, which can be used as a vector. By breaking it uh, at a particular uh, um, point, and by joining the desired gene into that, we can construct our DNA, which can be introduced into a suitable host, so that we can increase its number, and by using fermentation technology, we can also get its product uh, in required concentrations. That genetic engineering could make us uh, possible uh, to get uh, a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, um, industrial products like uh, industrial production of uh, hormones, industrial production of uh, vitamins, uh, enzymes, uh, and uh, lots more. The genetic engineering uh, technology has been succeeded only because of the bacteria, especially Escherichia coli bacteria, human-friendly bacteria, and then research. Um, I mean, we are taking leaps and bounds uh, I mean, in achieving a lot of things. Uh, being wiser animals over the earth, we have been granted all the abilities by the God. 
and research has become the important part of our life so as we are learning so many things it is only because of research how is it possible actually we connect the research in biology like uh, various biological branches like uh, biochemistry physiology microbiology biotechnology all this uh, actually uh, for doing research in these fields we need uh, certain animals uh, uh, it may not be possible all the time that is why we are relying upon the microorganisms as our research tools especially e coli bacteria as a single cell organisms as they complete the life cycle uh, i mean uh, very, uh, i mean immediately uh, in just in a few days just we can go across uh, all the details full details of the uh, bacteria so that uh, we can uh, do lot and lot of research on this uh, organisms mm, thus the bacteria has uh, bacteria have so many so many uh, advantages uh, really they are man friendly uh, i mean uh, getting disease from bacteria is just uh, one part of its uh, uh, its actions but uh, 90% they are very helpful to human beings in the in this picture in this slide you can see basil thuringiensis i mean uh, insecticidal property possess properties possessing bacteria it can kill nearly 50 different insects so that it can uh, help out so many uh, crops so that uh, it can enhance the yields too and in this slide you can see equally bacteria man friendly eco friendly bacteria which is residing in our intestine it is uh, widely used in uh, genetic experiments and also in genetic engineering uh, practices and you can see the um, uh, nitrogenous bacteria here in this slide which helps in uh, increasing soil fertility and there are some other advantages uh, industrially like uh, milk products we all know that just uh, we had a little inoculum of a previous days uh, um, butter milk uh, 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 into the warm uh, milk so if we put it still uh, for a while uh, for for, for uh, just just for overnight we can get a curd from this curd we can get we can prepare butter as well as the uh, ghee so all these products are uh, obtained from the bacteria only so Uh, mm, uh, bacteria play uh, a vital role in the production of milk product, especially curd, uh, cheese also. We all know that milk is changed into curd by lactobacillus. Similarly, certain streptococcus species and lactobacillus species also play a vital role in the cheese production. Nowadays, we are getting our uh, cheese uh, instantly, you know, by artificial uh, means uh, using these bacteria on large scales uh, to meet the uh, entire demand, the total demand of the world population. Uh, and then vitamins vitamins are uh, very essential i mean uh, um, part um, part of our metabolic activities we all know that uh, they behave like coenzymes um, we all know that we get vitamin vitamins from our uh, diet actually certain bacteria as uh, bacteria can prepare riboflavin uh, type of vitamin b um, uh, by fermentation process thus vitamins are nowadays available Mm, i mean uh, in the market uh, uh, in the form of wines uh, uh, and medicines like that it is all because of bacteria only and certain bacteria are secret enzymes which are very helpful for digesting complex uh, substances like uh, cellulo uh, cellulose um, uh, um, pectin uh, like that mm, certain bacteria which uh, i mean uh, habitat in the human intestine other organisms intestines no uh, they digest uh, the hard food materials by secreting enzymes similarly vinegar we all know that vinegar is widely used uh, in um, making pre preparing pickles uh, and other food products it is popularly known as vinegar uh, industrially but it is uh, commonly known as acetic acid which is obtained from the uh, fermentation of uh, sugar cane related uh, substances by acetobacter similarly alcohols different types of alcohol bitter alcohol acetones all that are also obtained from the bacteria only Uh, these uh, bitter alcohol acetone uh, are widely used in the development of photographic graphic films and also i mean access to um, substances uh, um, uh, actually uh, bitter alcohol and acetone are prepared uh, with the help of clostridium acetobutylicum similating we all know that we get uh, fiber from the plants uh, it is not really uh, not at all uh, possible by um, i mean uh, human efforts because uh, uh, there is every chance to get damaged uh, that is why uh, to get them in an intact form in a very useful form we have to soak the stem cuttings or leaf cuttings of the plants 
uh, adding uh, some bacteria as inoculum like uh, clostridium butyricum clostridium filicinium they decompose the cellulose component of the uh, plant material so that they release uh, the um, i mean what we say fibers in a very intact manner uh, what we should do is just uh, uh, head collect that uh, fiber intact fiber they had to um, we had to dry them and we had to uh, process them further so the, that is how bacteria are very helpful in retting process uh, retting of uh, fibers similarly um, uh, curing of uh, leather leather we get leather from animal products uh, you, you know uh, to make them useful no we have to uh, subject them to various processes like uh, curing curing is again done by certain bacteria similarly tanning tanning of uh, leaves tobacco leaves and the tea leaves to make them useful uh, to the mankind no they have to be turned again it is done by the certain bacteria especially bacillus megatherium bacteria similarly we all know that biogas production methane gas production or gobar gas actually by cutting the what we say fecal matter of uh, um, uh, cows and buffaloes regular domestic animals no by dumping them into a pit uh, um, closing them with concrete uh, plates uh, uh, they are subjected to the anaerobic respiration so that uh, within no time no they uh, release a gas known as methane gas uh, it is eco friendly gas uh, and very uh, i mean um, what we say uh, economic process uh, that is why uh nowadays biogas production biogas using has been um, become very um, i mean common thing we can see anywhere it is done by methanococcus and methanobacillus a type of species together together called methanogenic bacteria so the antibiotics antibiotics are nothing but chemicals which are secreted from one bacteria and which can kill another bacteria uh these antibiotics are very very useful we all know that uh, i mean major bacterial diseases are easily i mean uh, overcome or cured by these antibiotics see um, uh, for to our wonder actually these are the chemicals obtained from the bacteria and which again kill the another bacteria that is a big thing we, we should appreciate uh, antibiotic means against life we all know that there are different type of uh, antibiotics available obtained from especially strepto uh, i mean uh, mycetes species streptomyces species are generally uh, uh, a special type of bacteria uh which have both bacteria and fungal characters also called fungal bacteria or ray bacteria ray fungi mm, uh, for example streptomyces uh, gracilis uh, gives streptomycin streptomyces venezuela gives chloromycetes streptomyces aerophaceans gives tetracycline streptomyces erythrias gives erythromycin streptomyces froria gives neomycin streptomyces nodosus amphotericon streptomyces uh, mycus uh, mycetes canus gives amphomycin streptomyces griseus gives actidin similarly bacillus subtilis gives bacitrosin bacillus brevin gives tyrosin bacillus uh, um, brevis again gives another uh, antibiotic gramicidin they are very very useful thus bacteria are very very helpful to the mankind even in the medical field so you can see the lactobacillus bacteria in this slide are also the bacteria similarly uh, clostridium uh, species in this bad like uh, bacteria and similarly you can see chain like bacteria streptococcus bacteria which are known for their antibiotic producing uh, um, capacities so that's all actually uh, by this video we have come across various uh, economic uh, positive uh, uses or effects of bacteria uh, in the life of um, a man especially in various sectors like uh, medical industrial agriculture etc thanks for being so patient all along this video and uh, you could make this video possible mm, thank you very much